What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and I thought it'd be a good idea to go through some of the players on the ATP that we should be watching out for during the French Open because the French Open's only seven days away and it's very exciting to see some of the players that maybe we don't expect might actually do pretty well at this tournament. Let's go start with the first player to watch out for. So the first player obviously is Rafa Nadal. He's coming in at number three in the world rankings going into the French Open which when the draw comes out could be a little bit difficult for him because he might have to play Djokovic in the semi-finals. He's had the best clay court season out of everybody. 14 wins and only two losses, which included two clay court titles. Those titles being the Rome Open and the Barcelona Open. Interesting fact, he actually saved match points in both those tournaments to win. His best wins on the clay, pretty much everybody. He's beaten Shapovalov, Tsitsipas, Zverev, Rublev, and Djokovic in the Rome final. So Rafa Nadal, an obvious one to watch out for during the French Open. Second player to watch out for is Matteo Berrettini, the number nine in the world. Kind of flown under the radar a little bit with some good clay court form. He's got 10 wins, three losses on the clay court season with one title, that title being the Serbia Open. And don't forget, he also made the final of the Madrid Open, losing to Alexander Zverev in three very close sets. And he's got some good wins over good players as well, including beating Karatsev, Rud, and Fanini on the clay court. So watch out for Berrettini as the number nine player in the world. Next player to watch out for, Stefano Tsitsipas. Number five in the world, had a great clay court season. I put him as the second best clay quarter on the ATP for 2021 behind Rafa. Rafa just gets him with some of the big wins that he's had. But Tsitsipas, 16 wins, three losses. More wins than Rafa on the clay court so far this season with two titles as well, equaling Rafa's total. Those titles being at the Leon Open last week. And of course, the Monte Carlo Masters, his first Masters 1000 title. And his best wins on the clay have been against Rublev, Berrettini, and Karatsev. But also, don't forget that he had chances against Djokovic in Rome and also match points against Nadal in Barcelona. So, Pass could be number one on the list if he had got those two wins. But still, second best player going to the French Open for me. Having a look at a player outside the top 10, Kasper Rudd. He's number 16 in the world. He'll be going in as the number 16 seed. He's coming in with a lot of wins as well. 15 wins, four losses, including the one title. That title being at the Geneva Open also made the semifinals of Madrid and Monte Carlo. So he's in some great form and he's got some really good wins as well. He's beaten Shapovalov, Schwartzman, and he beat Tsitsipas as well. So Kasper Ruud is definitely one to watch out for, especially if he gets a good draw and he avoids some of those big guns. Next player to watch out for, of course, Novak Djokovic, the world number one. Hasn't had the best clay court season, only with the seven wins, three losses before the Serbia Open. Of course, he's playing that currently, so he might add to that by the end of this week. But he has made the final at the Rome Open, of course, losing to Nadal in that one and also the semi-finals of the Serbia Open the first edition of the Serbia Open and he's got some good wins he's beaten Tsitsipas, Sinner and Sonigo so some really good players on the clay during the season and like I said there's a little bit of an asterisk next to Djokovic because he hasn't finished his clay court preparations yet he might get a title this week at the Serbia Open which will give him an extra couple of wins as well but definitely got to watch out for the world number one the final player to watch out for Alexander Zverev the number six in the world kind of like Berrettini just kind of sneaking under the radar no one's really talking about him as much as someone like a city pass but he does have the nine wins three losses on the clay courts and of course he got that title at the Madrid Open beating Nadal along the way and he also made the quarterfinals of Rome. So he's in some form, and we know that Zverev is an all-court player. He can play on the clay, and he's got some really good wins as well, beating Berrettini, Nadal, and Dominic Team. So definitely got to watch out for him if he gets a good draw, especially if, let's say, the draw plays out that Nadal's in the top half against Djokovic, and Zverev gets the bottom half of the draw, where Medvedev will be the second seed. So Zverev could get pretty far at the French Open if the draw plays out in his favor. So there you have it. There are six players that I'm looking forward to watching at the French Open, and some players that probably obvious ones with Nadal and Djokovic City pass, but maybe Kasper Rudd, Berrettini, Zverev, maybe they're the players that you haven't really thought about because they have been sneaking under the radar. And if they do get a good draw, semi-finals are definitely up for the taking, especially if they're in Medvedev's half because we know Medvedev isn't the greatest on clay. But let me know down in the comments below, have I forgotten anyone? Is there anybody that you're looking out for at the French Open as maybe a serious contender? Of course, we've got Dominic Team Hasn't played enough for me to make him a serious contender this year. But let me know down in the comments below, is there somebody that you're really looking forward to at the French Open this year? So a lot of players to watch out for at the French Open, starting next week.